Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashwini and today we are going to see 2nd PUC 2015 supplementary 27th question that is KMA problem. So this is the 5 mark question and first question in 4th main that is 27th question. So 27th question always it is a KMA problem. So today we are going to solve one of the supplementary paper that is 2015 supplementary paper. So let us see how to solve this particular question. Before that if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe my channel and if you want the solution for 2015 question paper came up problem the link is given in the description box you can check it out. So let us not waste the time and see the question so in the question you have f of a b c d so when it is a b c d you are going to use a b c d term in your kma problem so here you can see i have used a b in all the rows in columns i have used c and d that is i have marked here you can see it over here the next step is you should see it is SOP, SOP, sigma symbol means SOP, SOP is nothing but sum of product. So next is this particular numbers. So wherever this particular number is there, you are going to place 1 in this particular numbers. So now let us enter the number. So before that, see this particular 4 cross 4. So you have 4 rows as well as 4 columns. You have labeled this so first it is 0 0 a bar b bar means it is 0 0 a bar b means 0 1 next you have written 1 1 next 1 0 this is a standard form you cannot change it so here you have b bar remember the third sorry the second row will be a bar b and the last row will be a b bar so even here it is 0 0 that is c bar d bar 1 0 1 that is c bar d next it is c d next c d bar that is 1 0 so this is how the problem is so next step is you need to enter the values before entering the value you need to label each and every square whatever the square is there so the first square goes with 0 1 then go with the last one 2 then come to the third one that is 3 this is the format in all the columns so next we have finished with 3 now it is 4 5 go with the last one 6 7 Next, don't enter the values here. Go with the last row. 8, 9, 10, 11. Now go with the third row. 12, 13, 14 and 15. And this is the standard numbers. So this is how you are going to enter the values for each and every square. So now let us enter the values now to enter this value go with these terms so first one is 1 where is 1 here so you are going to place 1 over here next it is 2 go with 2 next it is 3 in front of 3 you are going to place 1 next it is 4 5 9 11 12 13 14 and 15 so now you have entered the values so look at these number wherever these numbers have been placed here you are going to place 1 1 in that particular squares next remaining enter 0 okay so now we have finished with entry next we are going with group 
sorry there is a mistake in the question so after 9 you have 7 in the question also just a correction so in the particular 7 I am going to enter it 1 over here now next grouping so we are going with the grouping so first when you group see whether you have octal octal means 8 so here we have 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we have 8 ones so first we are going to group the octal any number of octal we don't have any number of octal here next we are going to see quad quad means 4 so here we have one quad okay next go with pair because we don't have any more number of quad here so we are going to go with pair so here we have one more pair and here you have one more pair so totally you have four terms over here and also you have one quad here here if you make this has quad you don't have to do with pair so i have mark it this has a quad and this has a pair so this is about the grouping so this is your first first one that is octal this is octal one or else i'll make it as group one this is my group two this is my group three group three this is my group four so next step is we have to write a simplified expression so first i'll mention octal first we got octal so in this octal first see which are the terms are common so all the this one so here you don't have any common terms here so leave this go with these two so in these two you have d has a common term so you are going to enter d okay next this is about g1 group number one next group number two that is oct uh, group number two is quad so q quad it is now go with these four terms here the common term is b right a bar b a bar b and a b so here a bar and a is there this is not a common term so here you have common term is b so you are going to enter b here and in these two columns you have common term as c bar so you are going to write c bar here next go with the pair this one pair that is g3 so in pair you have a b a bar b bar next you have in these two the common term is c so you are going to write c over here next g4 that is one more pair one more pair in this you have g4 you have a b and c that is this one is your g4 so here you have in these two see the, these two these two you have c has a common term so i have written c and in this whatever we have a b we have written here for this both one a b is common and here the common term is c so i have written c so remember you need to find the common terms so next is you need to write an expression simplified expression so simplified expression is y overall i have taken y write these terms over here with 
plus marks in between. So, the first one is D plus the second quad B C bar. Next, the third is pair A bar, B bar and C you have. Next pair you have A, B, C. So, this is the answer. I hope you understood this particular question. So, this is the supplementary paper solution. So, this is how you are going to solve the problem. If you like this video, please hit a like, share it with your friends and please do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.